Hello and welcome to Lightworks. In this tutorial we're going to have a look at storyboarding from the bins and making subclips. I've got a couple of shots here of some snowboarders that I want to divide up into smaller subsections. Also in the edit we're going to create, I want to put some establishing shots in. I've got some shots of the mountains, some flowers and some local general views. Then we put them all together in a bin and make an edit from a storyboard. First of all Let's divide up the snowboard subclips. To make a subclip, mark an endpoint, park to the region you want, press the Make Subclip button. The subclip will be created and revealed in the recent filter, but you'll also notice in the filters list the subclip section has come alive. Subclips have a little blue tag on them. Let's mark another section. I can also drag and drop straight to my storyboard bin. You can also drag it to the bins list and target that. As we're doing this, our subclip filter is being updated. You can also make subclips by using cue points or markers. To drop a marker, use the apostrophe shortcut on the keyboard. Here are the markers we've dropped. Now, when I press make subclip, I'll be asked, make subclips based on the cue points. Yes. Now these shots have just been created from those cue points. Let's have a quick look at the establishing shots bin. I can mark my tiles in the bin. If I press I on the keyboard, I can drag the regions of interest on these shots. Of course you're free to play and use Mark and Park. Okay, that's all of them marked up. I'm going to take all of those, drop them straight to my storyboard bin. I'm going to change the tile view to something slightly smaller by right clicking, choosing tile size medium. Let's get some of our subclips in there. Let's go lasso, drag and drop them. Now we can put all of this in order. If you're storyboarding from tiles view, the storyboard order will be tile one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so forth. So left to right and top to bottom. You may find it easier. Go to this view and the orders just simply top to bottom. So if I want to reorder my storyboard in this view we're going to have a mountain, some flowers, a mountain, trams, cafe, back to the mountain in between all of these, we can intersperse the snow borders. As I move the clips around, notice the blue line on the bin. If we have a look at doing that in tiles view, let's move some of these subclips right up to the top. If you don't want the bin to snap to a grid, just right click or go to the settings menu and turn off automatic positioning. Now you'll be able to loosen up your bin display and perhaps arrange your storyboard into specific sections you like. For example, scene one, scene two, scene three, and so on. To get a rough assembly into the edit, you can select 
all the shots you want, pick them up, drag and drop them straight into the edit window. If you don't have an edit already open, you can generate one simply by right clicking, choose make, edit from the contents. You can also generate an empty edit from this menu if you wish. Make edit from contents, use the marks on the tiles, edits generated, just pop that open. And again, we've got the rough assembly in place. There's one more way to generate the edit from these clips. That's simply to select the ones you want, drag and drop, target the edit tool in the toolbox. That way the edit's automatically opened and we're ready to go. We hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching.